In this lesson, we're going to add the room types. Now, this is where people are going to see the, you know, the types of room, the pictures, the pricing, the availability. So, as I mentioned before, you want to make sure that you're presenting yourself the right way or presenting your hotel or motel the right way because if it's not being presented properly with really good quality images, then it's going to turn people away and you're going to lose uh, potential uh, customers. So, Let's go over to the list room types and you want to click on new. And then here you can see the name, uh, the reservation asset, the occupancy, um, things like that. So let's just take a moment just to fill this out. So once you've filled out this information here, uh, you can see this right above the prices. <clears throat> so Sunday at the same price for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, you can change the prices for a, a particular day. Now, usually for most, you know, hotels and motels, uh, the prices usually go up on the weekends. I'm not sure if that's how it is in your particular country, but during, you know, the, I know here in the States, you know, the weekends, you know, a lot of people go to the hotels and things like that. So the prices are, you know, a little bit more expensive or a little higher then. And then there's no coupons available yet for this. We're going to, you know, work in coupons later, no extras. Uh, description, you can put description here for this particular um, suite. Uh, and then that's the name for it. So next you go to publish, make sure that you can have this as been featured. So we're going to make this featured and then for the complex to riff. Now this is just a little more complex, but saying you can add a whole lot more, uh, but this is the, the paid version of it. So now let's go over to the room. So you click on new. This is where you can add the room numbers for it. So just go to one. 100 and you can add as many rooms as you need or as your hotel have 100 and then you can go up to uh, whatever number that you have so once you've added all the room numbers then you want to go over to the media this is where um, you're gonna have to upload some images that you know you've taken so we're gonna do that now and to upload the images from your computer, you just have to click where it says Media Manager, and that's going to allow you to, you know, upload it. Or if you have already have an existing images that you have on the site, then you can click on the Media um, Library, then it's going to list all the things that you have. But since we don't have anything yet, then we have to, of course, add some media to this. So once you've selected the media that you want to add, then you want to click on Start Upload. Okay, so the upload has been loaded, completed successfully. You notice you have the green check mark um, right next to each image. So now when you click on the media library, you have these here. So you're just gonna check the box and then you click on insert. So now you've successfully you know, added media to this uh, hotel. And then you have the, uh, the custom fields. This is where you can put in additional information for like the room size and um, the bed size and things like that. So that's really good to have too because people want to know, you know, how big are the beds or how small are they? If they're coming with their kids, if they're coming with, you know, if other family members, is that bed, you know, big enough to accommodate, you know, so and so. Um, so once you put that information, they can see that. So once you've done that, um, pretty much everything else looks good. So you want to click on save and new, then we're going to add a couple more. So let's click on save and new. Okay, and let's repeat the process for this one too. All right, so the King Suites is another one we just added. Same process as uh, the Deluxe. So just go through to make sure that everything is set there. Uh, the room, you can change, you know, the room numbers for this one. The media, these are the images for it. Uh, the custom fills. And then save a new, let's add one more. Now the third and final hotel type here, room types have been added. And you know, bother you can add as many different room types as you have. I'm just adding three here just for demonstration purposes. And for the room occupancy, you can, you know, the max, you can, you know, do the same thing too. So we're done with the list room types. Let's click on save and close. Okay, let's move on to the next lesson.